Um, we thought we'd like to give you an update on the seven horses uh, that were collected from El Muradi from a warehouse uh, a couple of weeks ago. Very, very, very strange case. Um, as you know, we were called out by 15 national police that came all the way from Madrid uh, and raided this warehouse in El Muradi. Uh, they contacted me and Rod nine o'clock in the morning and wanted us to come and pick these horses up. We'd actually had 10 tons of horse feed delivered <laughs> outside to the rescue centre by an articulated lorry. So um, we were unable to go straight away, but Rod managed to get there by about 12.30, quarter to one. Um, the police were anxiously waiting for him because they had to get the paperwork uh, from the Ori Whaler courts organised with our fiscal details to hand the horses over to us. So uh, me and Rod then had the pleasure of transporting the seven horses. Um, four of them were stallions, uh, very big strong stallions I might add, uh, so it was quite quite difficult for me and Rod to do, but we overcome the situation and the, the stallions are actually kept to our fantastic uh, equine vets Dorothy is because she has much more secure stables to put stallions in. So anyway, we got organised and everything and they all settled down quite nicely. After probably uh, four days, um, we had communication um, from the people that owned the horses' lawyer to say that the courts had decided that the horses could go back to them. One moment, Jasmine, stop it. Don't be naughty. No, no, no. I'm gonna move forward. Jasmine's gonna be a little bit naughty now. She wants attention. Now, don't be a naughty girl. So obviously the horses had to go back. Um, we didn't have a problem with that at all uh, because the horses were absolutely fabulous in beautiful condition, obviously very, very well cared for. Many people, when they'd seen the video that we put on about the rescues, they contacted us asking if they could have the horses. And as we stated at the time, um, they're not ours to re uh, When we work with the police and there are court orders, we are merely the custodians and we are obliged to respond to what the court wants us to do. In this case, they decided that the horses could go back to their owners. Uh, so uh, several people turned up and um, basically they reclaimed their horses and they are now living back from whence we took them. So that's a little bit of an update on the story of the seven horses.